Hello everyone. So today I am going to work on this night time light in our time of day system. So now this is the night and as you can see we have the shadows and also the shadow is moving and it's definitely dark because it's the night time and as the night time passes and sun rises the all the shadows and everything will be switched to the sunlight and we will have the complete time of day system so now it's the darkest before the sunrise and here is the sunrise okay and now it's the data so we will have a after this episode we will have a complete day and night cycle with uh, different lighting conditions for both day and night and in this blueprint we can directly set the time of day and see how the time lights look Seven is in the morning six is the sunrise 15 is in the evening 18 is the sunset 20 is night so yeah this is how it works right so yesterday we worked on the time of day system where we can dynamically set the time so based on the time of the day the sun's position is changed like this if I go over here, I can see the sunset. Yeah. Where is the sun? Oh, over there. And that side. So, see, yeah, the sun and it changes as the time and also if I start from 6, now here you see the sun rises and changing it dynamically. So the next step is to figure out when it is the night time we don't have any lights so it becomes completely dark if I set the time manually here do something like this you see it's completely dark because we don't have any lights and that's what I'm going to fix next so for that what I am thinking of doing is let me first set the daytime and where is the directional light over here so let's add or oh, let's duplicate this directional light and I'll call it on light and let's make it a child of the directional main direction light which is the sunlight no need to have an offset but I'll make this have the opposite direction of the sun so 180 degrees to the other side see now we have two arrows the down facing one is the sunlight up facing one is the moonlight and this should have a very low value let's say 0.1 and somewhat bluish tone so now if I change the time to night now you see we do have some light maybe this is a bit more right. 
this much seems good enough right we don't have a moon yet but we have some light that's later on we will work on the moon as well right and in the daytime let me again set it back to 10 we still have the moonlight also but even though it has a minimum effect i don't think we need to have for performance issues so therefore i'll disable this effect world if you want to test it if i set the time to night when i have disabled effect world it is not working see if i enable effects world it works right now i leave it disabled and set the time of the day again to 10 or maybe something closer to the evening like this then let's go to the time of day so here as i have set the moon as a child of main direction light moonlight as the child of main direction light we don't have to worry about setting the rotation it will automatically set because we are already rotate in the main direction right so now when we pass into the night time that means here yeah. when the time is greater than let's start having the moonlight around 70 that means 5 pm when the time is larger than 17 or less than six uh, seven seven that means seven in the morning if any of these conditions are true we can enable the moonlight so we need a reference to the moonlight i'll call them instead of sun and moon moonlight and sunlight right now we can assign the references all right so if let's have a branch if this condition is true we need to enable more light that means effects word Effect. Hmm. What's the variable again? Effect word. Yeah. Okay. Do it. I think we need to access the light component. Right, it seems FX world is not applicable in the runtime. So I'll leave it enabled and let's use this visibility again to test. Let me go to night time. If I 
disable visibility it goes right okay so I'll leave it disabled by default go to night time go back to daytime and then set visibility this should be enabled if this is true disabled if this is false so I don't think setting this value in each time may not be a good idea I'm not really sure so just to be safe I let it do once not for both and if the light is disabled once if we have disabled visibility we can only enable it and once we enable it we can only disable it so these sets will not happen always right did i set the light yes now we should dynamically get the moonlight yeah see Oh, we get a reflection of the moon as well that's not necessarily bad but there is something let me enable all screen messages I disabled it because they were annoying so yeah we get this multiple direction lights are companion to be single one used for forward shading so yeah we can set the priority forward shading priority I'll make it one for the sunlight okay time passes see the moon shadow is also moving oh at this time we don't really see this ocean if I make it high priority, will I see that? Okay, let's first get the right now. We got the money. Okay, we have the lights, that's fine. Now let's test this a bit more. why I don't see anything at all ah right I ch did this check in increment time let me cut it because in the update sun we should do it because then this change will be applied when I change the time in 
here. So yeah. Priority. Forward sharing priority. If I increase this, nothing happens. I don't see I see anything. Oh it's not really necessarily about any settings because I see some reflections here. It's just the light level. Oh no. So if the here the priority is zero one. Ah oh, right. I think in the night time we should have the priority to higher priority to moonlight and lower priority to direction light. So I'll yeah here priority is one for the direction light, zero for the moonlight. Okay, so when this change happens what if no moonlight priority I'll set it to one and this I'll set up to zero. Then in the daytime, that means I don't have the moon, so I will not, I should not have any problem because we don't have four lights anyway. Even if this is zero, I should not get that message, I think. Yeah. Now we should have the... Now we should see the reflections on the sea when it becomes darker. Let's see. suddenly see the switching which is not cool and the light is too much 5.6 that was the light I wanted right Let's test some more. 18 and three point one. It looks like this. should exactly use 18 and 6 to not to have a sharp change in the sea the priority one zero okay now it's better all right so I think
think that's enough for today let's see the sunrise as well to, uh, to check if we get any drastic changes in the sea Right, that's better. Okay. So yeah, I think we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.